Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So let's go over if your editor is not compiling script after you make changes in Visual Studios. There could be a few issues here. So I'll go over the more common reasons why this might be happening and then dive a bit deeper. So the first common issue that might be causing this is down in your console, make sure that you don't have any errors. If you've imported a package, if you downloaded something from the asset store or one of your other scripts have an error, not just necessarily the script that you are currently working on, that might cause the issue. So if you don't see any errors in the console, just make sure that you have your error notification checked on so that you can see it just because there's none down here doesn't mean that you might not have any uh, there's times where i've seen people have this checked off here uh, if you have a number there that means there is errors you know sometimes people don't want to see certain notifications and they just turn these off so make sure those are turned on and check if there's any errors the next solution is actually the more common i see this about 90 percent of the time and that's your preferences and your auto refresh so come up to edit, click on edit, come down to preferences, click on preferences and inside of preferences you have something called asset pipeline. Click on this and you have a auto refresh. And right now you can see it's disabled. So what I wanna do is I want to enable this and that hopefully will solve your problem. The next solution is make sure that your Visual Studios is up to date. I normally update it through the installer here, so you'll tend to get a update notification here if you have updates. If you don't use the installer and you have Visual Studios, what you can actually do is, if you're in any script, go up to help at the top and then come down and there should be a check for updates right here. And you can actually check for updates here. It opened up Visual Studios installer and it is currently up to date. Now, if there's different versions of Unity that come out or a big update, they normally give pop-ups at the bottom right here. So you can just uh, make sure every time you open it, that you're checking that you see those updates but if not check the either through the help method or through the installer for updates so something else that could cause it but unlikely is if you go up to edit and you come down to preferences inside of preferences if you come down to external tools here inside external tools you have external script editor and this is the one that it will be using. Right now I have the proper one selected, but there's been times where I've had a couple different versions of Visual Studios and I had the wrong one selected. So just make sure that you have the right one selected. And if all those is failing so far, then what you could do is try to upgrade your Visual Studios version to the newest version. If you have the newest version, then try to downgrade to the previous version and try that. If that doesn't work, the other solution that I have and the last one that I know of is if you go to your Visual Studios installer after you've tried to either upgrade or downgrade, come up to modify and click modify. And inside of modify, come down and make sure that you have the game development with Unity selected. I have also game development with C++ selected. So hopefully one of these methods have helped you in making sure that your editor compiles scripts after making changes for Visual Studios inside of Unity here. Now if it's something else, feel free to come over to the Unity discussion forums, post over there. Hopefully someone else as well as I might see it and try to help you out going forward with your issue. If you do have this issue or have had this issue in the past, and you figure out a solution for it, feel free to post down in the comments below so that other people can find this issue uh, and see what your solution was and that might help them as well. And if this video did help you, feel free to leave a like, comment down below so other people can find this video and get the help that they need. And thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.